Well, welcome to Everything You Need to Know Tuesday. Uh, this coming weekend, special weekend, Feast of Pentecost. So uh, it's the descent of the Holy Spirit. Remember when the Holy Spirit's involved, it's, it's the red color. So I invite you to wear something red to any of the Masses this weekend for Pentecost. Uh, after the 10 a.m. Mass, we are going to have a little uh, coffee and birthday cake down in the parish hall. And um, uh, I think you'll enjoy that. It's uh, our cornerstone. The sisters are going to kind of uh, host that, uh, that birthday cake because uh, Pentecost is the birthday of the church. So we celebrate that. And we're going to have a little, uh, remember we're also celebrating our different cultures. And so we got six tables set up of some different cultures and countries. And so we'll, we'll go down there and learn, learn a little bit about them. And we got a little special dance that some of our Filipino uh, Christians are going to put on for us. So I'm looking forward to that. Hey, six uh, newly engaged couples are going to be going through pre-Cana here starting the first uh, weekend in June. So I'd ask you to keep them in your prayers huh, as they prepare for this wonderful sacrament in their life. We used our upper room in the new Parish Life Center twice this past week. It uh, was really working out well. We, we had our ministry appreciation evening up there, and it gave me a chance to thank all of our volunteers for what they do here for St. Pius. They're so critical, and we've had new people joining us, and I'm really, really pleased about that. And certainly, if you're thinking you want to volunteer, you know, let us know. We'll find, some, we'll find something for you to do. Um, and the second time, we had last week a, uh, an evening of reflection for women. Uh, Kirsten Bernardo did a little reflection on the Eucharist. I understand she did a wonderful job. And so we had, uh, we used the upper room there for, for a little reception for them. So uh, that'll be good. We regret we weren't able to do a cornerstone retreat this year, but we do have one scheduled for next year uh, in May. So that'll be good. Um, one of the uh, things I want to highlight each week for the next seven weeks is the naming of our rooms in the new Parish Life uh, Center. So instead of calling all these rooms, you know, room one, two, three, or A, B, C, we thought we would name them after a saint uh, and, and have the saint match the use of the room. And it also gives us a little bit of an educational opportunity to learn, learn a little bit more about the saints. So I'm standing right here in the Veronica family room. This is the room that is when you come in the doors from the parking lot, it's the one right directly to your left, huh? right near the, uh, the information hub. So we're going to call this the Veronica room because remember the sixth station, uh, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. And this room will largely be used for uh, pl funi planning for funerals. Uh, we already have a bereavement group that's meeting in here on, on Monday nights right now. And so this is a room to help people oftentimes in their pain. So we're going to call this the Veronica room. And in and, and other weeks, I'll bring you to another room and tell you the saint's name that we'll be using. And uh, so I think it'll make some sense to you. Little thought for the week. A pint of example is worth a barrel full of advice. A pint of example is worth a barrel full of advice. So look forward to seeing this weekend. It's one of the great feasts in our church, the Feast of Pentecost. So, so join us.